What's going on guys? Welcome to Spang's World. Today we got an install on some stuff that I've been wanting to do for a while now. But <clears throat> right here we got the Rough Country basic shocks here. Uh, the previous owner, whoever owned this bef uh, before I did, uh, threw these on before they traded it in. Uh, these are definitely not the shocks that come with the Rubicon Express. So we got some goodies. These are the Fox 2.0 Performance Series shocks with low speed compression adjustment. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll do better in the rocks and stuff and help us uh, get over some of these obstacles and stuff, just better off performance. But should be a quick and easy install and stuff for us. Uh, a couple bolts per shock, put them in. Uh, but let's get these suckers in. All right, before we pull these shocks, I wanna take a couple of measurements, just try and see what our ground clearance is. It looks like we're sitting at 24 and 3 quarters here to the bottom of the bumper to the ground. Yeah, we got the shock out, just some size comparison. Looks like they're pretty close. Maybe an inch, inch and a half difference here. Let's see. So center eye, center to eye, yeah. yeah about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters difference right there. Uh, bodies look about the same, but yeah, so it should work fine. What you get in the box, you get your shock. You get your shock, you get your reservoir retainer, hold it to the shock body and stuff. Uh, manual and your Fox shock sticker. You can probably put this retainer in before or after. Uh, we got it in on the one shock already. I'm gonna try and just install it without it on, see if it's easier to get the impact and stuff in there. I'm gonna tighten up these upper screws. Time to install our retainer here. It's got a quarter inch Allen head screw on the backside here. Uh, they don't supply a, a 
an Allen wrench. So you need to have a quarter inch Allen. I don't know if I should go middle, more towards top. Hate to cover the fox up, but I might have to. Yeah, let's go middle. Middle of it. Rotate it a little bit to get away from that sway bar link. And the sway bar itself. All right, there we go.
there we have it back passenger or back driver is done back passenger is done also so let's drop this down see what it looks like I'm not expecting anything too major stance difference wise I think we might have a little bit more clearance here in the back end let's find our tape measure and see everything's probably got to settle and everything still because these are brand new well we'll see where it's sitting right now we were right about 24 and three quarters originally and we are sitting right about 20 25 and an eighth right there i don't know if you can see it or not so three eighths a three eighths more it's got to settle and stuff so i'm assuming we'll be right about the same uh biggest difference will be when we're on the rocks and stuff if you're using that low speed compression and stuff dial those in uh well now we gotta jump up to the front and do those all right guys we got the front jacked up here uh all we have to do on these i pulled this back panel here for the the engine guard pull this back pull this back panel for the engine guard here uh we're gonna need a 14 millimeter here 18 again on the bottom uh get those pulled uh should go fairly quick hopefully So that stuff comes in here, get your retainer. Now on the front, you're gonna pull these off. This is a 19 millimeter nut. Pull your spacer off and washer. Then you go to install it. All right, we got the shock in here. Got it in there. You got a little bit of room for your brake line right here. But the speed sensor is basically tight and it goes in between. I mean, we are flex or it is drooped out all the way. I think we're gonna have to try and reroute this a little bit or see if we can get a longer one in there. I can just see that breaking on us at some point. Or just wait till it breaks. Wait till it breaks and then replace it. <laughs> but i can see that being an issue here at some point but uh we'll jump over to the other side and get that one wrapped up
All right. Got the passenger side in here. Uh, this all seems like a lot looser and stuff. Uh, your speed sensor on this side, at least I believe they're both speed sensors, just how they're rigged up. Uh, this one's a lot looser and stuff, so I don't know if you can put a passenger side speed sensor on the driver's side. I'm gonna turn all four shocks up. They're already soft. All the way soft on all four. We're starting off and uh, we'll adjust it from there. Yeah, after install on the front, we got about 21 and three quarters right there. So that's roughly three eighths again, uh, taller than before uh, with the old shocks on there. So I'm assuming that'll settle out a little bit once uh, we get some miles on these shocks. But, but overall, I'm happy. Sitting right in there. The only thing I'm not super happy with is on the driver's side here. This all, this looks like it needs to get rotated a little bit or do something. I mean, it's right there. I mean, we should be fine, maybe. But that's going to be an issue possibly in the future. Hit that thumbs up if this video is helpful. Subscribe if you're not already. That way you don't miss the next uh, install video. Uh, leave a comment down below if you got any questions or anything or what shocks you run. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.